It is abundantly clear that the growth of urban infrastructure in India has not been able to keep pace with the unrelenting urbanization and the increase in population. Hundreds of tons of uncleared solid waste is a testament to that. The management of solid waste is an essential service which unfortunately has not been recognized yet as a priority area. Urban local bodies fail to make adequate provision for the collection, transportation and disposal of waste in an environment-friendly manner. Though a very large percentage of funds of local government bodies are spent towards this service, the clearing of solid waste still is far from satisfactory. This horrible sight may well have become routine for us, but every basket load of garbage that is dumped on such heaps leads to the generation of over 680 million metric tons of biodegradable solid waste in the country every year. This comprises cattle dung, crop residues, aquatic waste, agro-industry waste and municipal solid waste. The existing facilities for the collection and storage of domestic, commercial or industrial waste is primitive, inadequate and inefficient. As a result, very unhygienic conditions prevail at the dump sites. Open-to-air heaps of such garbage generate huge quantities of self-igniting methane gas which often cause respiratory distress in human beings. The toxins mixed in garbage leach out into the soil below and cause subsoil water contamination. These dumps throw up a foul smell, cause environmental pollution, breed flies and rodents and encourage dogs. To add to these woes is the common remedy periodic spraying of pesticides, which are themselves toxic in nature. The concept of recycling of municipal solid waste or biosolids for the production of organic manures or soil enrichers was therefore mooted and has been consistently gaining ground. In fact, this is one of the top priority programs in Europe and in the United States. In India, solid waste, which is generated at the rate of about 500 grams per capita per day, comprises organic component upwards of 75% of the net quantum, which is ideal as soil enricher. In response to the faulty and unhygienic methods of waste disposal and their serious fallout, some professionals took up the promotion of biotreatment of municipal solid waste. This resulted in the adoption of Excel technology, developed by Messrs. Excel Industries Limited. The plan was formulated by Dr. Marley. Taking the initiative, Mr. Bhamavat, the managing director of Leaf Biotech, approached the authorities. The Tane Municipal Commissioner, Mr. Chandrasekhar, and then Tane Member of Parliament Prakash Paranspe approved the project. No one likes the garbage because it gives a lot of unpleasant things. But there are few people who play with the garbage and would like to keep the garbage in a proper way. We are among them. Garbage is not only the garbage. It contains a lot of valuable things, which is ultimately needed, needed to the uh, nature. And for them, for ultimate uh, people only. So first they say they, they must change their mindset that the garbage is not only the garbage. And I, I hope that we could change up to a certain extent of mindset of the people. We approach to many municipal corporations, but Thane Municipal Corporations has took the initiative and came forward and said, okay, we are ready to establish this unit. If 
the corporation doesn't go by this process, then they would have spent about crores of rupees on the dumping ground and the land, like the other cities are doing at present. If the garbage is treated in a scientific way, in a proper way, then we can remove the bad smell and we can remove even the complete smell and whatever the organic contents which is available in the garbage can be converted into a manure which is ultimately a soil enricher which needs to fertile our uh, land. That the India has the capacity to develop such things which the world cannot develop, which we have proved. And you, as you know that this entire Asia is generating mixed garbage only because they don't have the system to segregate at the source. And that is why this problem is lying as it is because no one has developed this technology how to treat mixed waste either at the source or at the yard which we have done in our country. The technology comprises two stages. A biological process for the decomposition of municipal solid waste and a mechanical process of screening the decomposed organic material. A bio-organic soil enriching plant is already operational at Kopri near Thane, put up in association with the Thane Municipal Corporation. The corporation allotted nine acres of land for the project on a 29-year lease. Every day, 250 metric tons of municipal solid waste is delivered at the site for treatment and processing. The plant, which can treat up to 300 metric tons, takes care of the heterogeneous municipal solid waste using controlled aerobic composting methods. All kinds of biodegradable organic wastes of fruits, vegetables, food residue, agro-processing industries, poultry and slaughterhouses, etc. can be used for aerobic fermentation to recover organic fertilizer. This indigenous technology is highly suited for handling mixed and unsegregated waste. The waste is treated with a consortium of microbial enzymes and herbal extracts. These substances are mixed in water and sprayed over the incoming solid waste or garbage. A waste dumping site is leveled and paved with bricks or cement to prevent groundwater contamination. The waste is treated with enzymes and herbal extracts for defouling and to induce accelerated bioconversion. The garbage thus collected and treated is stacked up or placed on this open site in 50 to 100 meters long heaps called wind rows. They are 3 to 5 meters wide and 2 to 3 meters high. The rows run parallel to each other with space between them to allow workers or machinery to turn and aerate it at regular intervals. During the unloading and placement of the garbage in these rows, the garbage is moistened by spraying it at every six inch layer with biotreatment starter solutions to trigger the aerobic composting process and give it a direction that prevents the formation of foul smell and methane gas. The temperature in the heap reaches 65 to 70 degrees centigrade within 36 to 48 hours of treatment. This kills pathogens, germs and weeds and ensures proper fermentation. The heap should not be allowed to become so hot that it starts to dry out 
smoke or burn. As soon as the heap becomes hot enough, it should be turned over to form a parallel new heap so that the outer layer of undecomposed garbage forms the center of the new heap while the partly rooted central portion of the old heap covers it up. Weekly aeration of the garbage makes for rapid microbial multiplication. While forming this new heap, the partly rotted garbage is again moistened in layers with one of the biocompost tartars. At this plant, there are four such turnings of the garbage heaps to keep up a cycle of about four to six weeks. By that time, the biomass or the garbage is reduced to about one third of its original volume and decomposes to form a dark, semi-dry humus-like substance where fermentation has set in progressively. This well-decomposed stabilized garbage is the first stage of any compost plant, like the one at Kopari. But it is not commercially marketable unless it is sieved to remove less degradable or non-degradable material like tender coconut shells, plastic, glass, stones, etc. To do this, the well-decomposed biomass is processed through separating, grading, sieving and air classification machines. The preparatory section of the sieving comprises a feeder to put composted solid waste on the conveyor belt with the help of a feeder which lifts 300 kilograms in one shawl. There is a trommel which has a screen fitted inside with a 35 mm hole. All material over 55 mm in diameter gets separated and the refuse now contains coconut shells, plastic bags, cloth pieces, stones, etc. In the second trommel, the sieved material is passed through a screen with holes of 16 mm diameter. The refuse at this stage includes bottle caps of all kinds, wooden sticks, smaller stones, etc. The sieved material is then loaded and lifted into a bucket elevator and is brought to a go-down. The finishing section comprises a feeder located in the semi-finished waste go-down, a feeder which lifts 300 kilograms in one shawl and a bucket elevator. The bucket elevator lifts the semi-finished product to the first floor, where a vibro screen is installed. In the vibro screen, measuring 6 mm in diameter, stones and other unwanted material is removed through vibration while the balance comes down. Next, there is a stone separator where finer stones or sandy particles get separated. The residue is passed through an add mixer to ensure a specific moisture level. If the residue does not contain the requisite moisture level, then moisture is added. The end product makes its way to the packing chutes, where bags of 50 kilograms capacity are kept in readiness.
the entire process is completed in four to six weeks. The Nenyat Badeja Prayagar and Mara Sarajala Jamade. Is Sendria Kurteze, Atta Sendria Kurti Nenyat Badejasta, Bakriza, Lindy Munjas Shenkut, Mashiza Shen Munjas Shenkut, Kwan Nenade and Kijikai Kate, Compose Kat Munjas Shenkut. But here the Sendria Kurte, a Sendria Kurt, Puripurna Asha was the one that was okay. Puripurna Asha step on the good leader in PK. म्हणजे तुमचा नायट्रोजन पाहिजे पोटॅशियम पाहिजे फॉस्फरस पाहिजे आणि ह्याची जी क्रिया प्रक्रिया प्रक्रिया जी आहे ना ही क्रिया प्रक्रिया चांगल्या पद्धतीने होण्याकरता त्याच्यामध्ये 13 तऱ्हेची जी मायक्रोन्यूट्रिएंट्स आहेत ती मायक्रोन्यूट्रिएंट्स आहेत त्यात असणं आवश्यक आहे आणि ही जर एकत्रितपणे केली तर ती एकत्रितपणे झालेलं खत हे एकंदर झाडाच्या वाढीला अत्यंत उत्कृष्ट असं उपयोग पडतो त्याशना हे जे खत आहे या खतामध्ये अशा तऱ्हेचे काही घटक द्रव्य आहेतच ती घटक द्रव्य आपण दुसरी खत जर कुठे पाहिली तर ज्यामुळे ते सांगतात आमचं खत वापरा त्यात अधिक वापरा त्यांना वीस टक्के मिळेल त्यांना दुसरं खत वापरा त्यांना तीस टक्के मिळेल आणखी कुठलं तरी वापरा त्यांना चाळीस टक्के मिळेल असं निर्णयाची खतं वापरणं वापरणं ह्या शेतकऱ्यांना परवडणार नाही कारण काय एक तर किंमत जास्त आहे वाहतूक खर्च खूप येतो आणि त्याशिवाय ते वापरणं असं परवडत नाही मजुरीचा खर्च वगैरे वाढलेला आहे त्याच्यावेळी असं एकच खत जो असं निवडा लोक ज्याच्यामध्ये सर्व ते काही आहे जे झाडाला आवश्यक आहे झाडाची विगरस ग्रोथ व्हायला झाडामध्ये स्टॅमिना व्हायला झाडामध्ये कणकरपणा यायला झाडामध्ये रोगप्रतिकार शक्ती वाढायला वगैरे वगैरे जे काय जे काय त्याच्यामध्ये गुण अपेक्षित आहेत ते गुण अपेक्षित जर परिपूर्ण अवस्थेला जायला पाहिजे असतील तर अशा झाडांना अशा प्रकारचं हे सेंद्रिय खत हे जर घातलं गेलं तर त्याचं ते झाडाला लवकर शोषून घेता येतं आणि लवकर शोषून घेतल्यामुळं त्या झाडाची वाढ जी आहे ती वाढ चांगल्या तऱ्हेने होऊ शकते The plant at Kopri has been attracting lots of visitors ranging from ordinary citizens to experts and dignitaries from India and abroad. All are curious to witness the transformation of garbage into gold.